All right, guys, we are at 17 April, uh, only, my God, an hour away from 18 April. Uh, I thought the halving was going to be the 18th of April. Uh, it looks like it keeps getting adjusted a little bit. So this is the nice hash Bitcoin having countdown clock. Dun, dun, dun. So they're showing two days, two hours, three minutes and 50 seconds. Are you guys ready? You got your popcorn ready? Um, what is going to happen? I have no idea. I know the rewards to uh, crypto miners, to Bitcoin miners, gets cut. And what does that mean? Well, that means some of the miners out there, the Bitcoin miners, there's quite a few. The ones that are not running optimal, lean, uh, low cost, low overhead, the ones that are running high overhead, extreme cost, not efficiently, they're the ones that are going to go away. They're not going to be able to survive. There will be ones that do survive. And the ones that have been identified are, well, I'll give you one. I can't give away everything because I don't make any money off this stuff. Can't give away the farm because then the farm will be gone and I'll have nothing. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's hit the old stock stonker button. These are some of the crap I'm watching. We'll go through that if you guys care. I don't care if you care, but we'll go through. And you'll have an idea what my little brain is showing. And again, I'll show you how to lose all your money if you follow what I do. <laughs> do what I do the opposite of what I do, and you might do all right. Yeah, never listen. Again, I, I beat a dead horse, right? Never take financial advice from anybody on the internet, on YouTube, on Twitter. If you do, you're just going to lose all your money. A fool and his money are, are soon parted is so true. There's a reason that saying is around. I think it's a proverb too, right? Uh, do not. I don't care if they have a CFP, CRFP, wealth advisor, crypto genius, uh, crypto ninja type person, uh, cryptos are us, crypto schmegaluding, uh, crypto dollars, nothing. Or finances, equity, buy this thing, buy this worm, run. If anyone wants to buy you, if anybody is trying to sell you this stuff, and then they try to sell you a course or a program or a subscription run. You do not need to pay any memberships, any subscriptions, anything to do this stuff. You just need your brain. You need a quiet time to think this stuff through, a little education, a lot of reading to get a feel for things. And when I say do your own research, I mean immerse yourself in whatever you care about bitcoin miners bitcoin uh equities uh like these are um energy stocks right and they're, they're delivery systems read about them you will know more than any of these idiots on youtube trying to sell you crap like a 900 hour course a 300 hour course on how to trade it's all bull crap all you need to do is read 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 you're going to, have to dedicate some time but it's worth it yeah knowledge is power man don't just give someone some money with the hopium you're going to make uh, you're going to give them 800 bucks for a course and you're going to hopefully get a thousand bucks back. No, no, no. Do it yourself and you'll learn and uh, basically teach yourself how to fish, man. That's a secret. It uh, You will lose and you will win. Uh, it's just the key is taking all emotions out of it and following the numbers. And that's why crypto is kind of a nice play is there's a lot of following the numbers. But you still have the problem where it's traded all the time. And then when you got crap like overseas, geopolitical and war drums beating, it gets affected. I have no idea why. And that makes me a little concerned about the crypto stuff. So now you have to put that variable into the equation. The idea of the Bitcoin stuff was to be separate from all that effect of the big markets, of the equities markets, of a geopolitical crap. Yeah, so that, that's got me a little concerned. I need to edu educate myself on that a bit better. And then you get that, you get your Coinbase and your TradingView apps. I'd get a TradingView one and I would get a Coinbase, go to the advanced mode. And if you want to pay for the Pro Plus, whatever, do it. Uh, once you're in the trading window with the order book, it just educates you so much better than just looking at the basic idiot page that Kraken and Coinbase provide. Get in there and look at your lows, your highs, your trends, your volumes, uh, your candles, your one, uh, do one day. Or six hour don't do five to 15 minutes on the uh on the um timeline or you'll go nuts you won't get a real good reading from it you need to get like a one day four to four hour to one day on coinbase advance they have a one day and a six hour 
I went to one day and I think that's fine. And then you can see the candles coming out and then you can set your limits there too, your buy or sell limits. And on an equity on this stock over here, FCX, I was just like, all right, I'm going to do this. I don't know what came over. Someone in my brain, God spoke to me or some, something actually said to me, dude, go and set a $52 sell limit on FCX. I don't know where that came from. I looked at a candle on one of the charts of FCX. This is last Friday. Yeah, Friday. And I said, ah, let's just see. I'll dump this if it goes to 52. It was trading about 50 at the time. And I saw, saw a couple of candles and uh, lo and behold, is that an expression? I have no idea what that means, but I'll say it. Lo and behold, one of the candles broke 52, went to 52.50, $52.50 or something. Bam, sell order hit. Got my profit, about 18, 16, 18% profit in a week. Not bad, nice chunk of change. And it's in my Roth, so I don't have to worry about any short-term capital gains because it's in my Roth, big daddies. Uh, yeah, that's a good way to trade. Again, if you're, you won't be able to touch the money until you're over 59 and a half, but you're building that nest egg, big daddies, and that's the goal, right? Uh, that's my goal. And if you're getting it tax-free too, that's beautiful. That is just a sweet, sweet F you to the government because they just want to take all your money and give it overseas to fund another country's pension. Look that up. And you know what country I'm talking about with the gold and blue stripes? I don't know what the hell they are. It's ridiculous what they're doing with our taxpayer money. If you knew the truth, not the bullshit on the media, the fake media, and you find out the truth, it just kind of it can't get you angry. Anyway, enough of that crap. What are you going to do about it? You're not going to do the damn thing. That's the funny thing. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You know, it's just... Corruption is corruption. Uh, that's the new norm. Norm Corruption is norm. Uh, they basically baselined it. All right, let's go. So that was a good thing with the stop limit on a sell limit. You can set your limits. And I think going into trading, one of the things I found, which helped me now, knowing that I got burned on Tesla, and I haven't dumped Tesla, but I'm down like 40%. It's a turd. What? Look at that. Holy crap. Can it go to zero? Yeah. But when you buy a stock, man, with Tesla, I was such a, a fanboy. Oh, it's going to go to the moon, blah, 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 blah. Literally, it's going to go to Mars. Yay. Uh, no, I should have set my 10% loss sell limit. Like set a limit. How much are you willing to lose before you just get the hell out of it? Because you've got to mitigate your losses. Otherwise, it's going to keep going down like Tesla, uh, down 45%. <laughs> right now, at this point, I'm not going to realize the loss. I'm just going to hold it. And it's just a lesson learned. And I'll hold it and just look at it and just, it'd be my reminder to set my freaking stop sell limits. And when I buy a stock, like if I get back in FCX, you know, say I buy it at 49, say I buy it at 49, boom, I'll probably set, I'll do 10% off on a sell limit just to, in case I don't want to lose it anymore. I, I'll, all right, it, it tanked. I didn't read that one right. That's a bad trade and just get out, lose, lose a couple hundred bucks. And say, okay, better than losing a couple thousand. You got to think of it that way. And it's just numbers. You got to set your pros, your ups and your downs. And even on the profits, you got to take profits. And that was my mistake starting this whole crap years ago. I would just go for the moon. Oh, it's going to go to the moon. Hold, 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 hold. Even stocks, equities. Hold, hold, hold. Tesla, hold, hold, hold. It's going to just keep going. Everyone's electric car. Cars are great. Yay. They're going to save the environment. Yay. Now we know they don't. They actually uh, make more pollution to make the batteries. And you know, uh, rare materials to make the lithium ions. They uh, have the thermal runaways on uh, when they catch fire. Once they're damaged, they're gone. You cannot repair them. Uh, insurance is unwilling to cover most of these cars. When the car is damaged, it's total because the cost to replace and repair is redonkulous. It's more than the ca car is worth. Um, I also attribute that to Ford, GM, and all these shitty Rivians and all that crap that came into the market. They made shitty products, and they uh, basically brought down the whole image of EV and uh, Tesla was lumped in there guilty by association. I still, still think Tesla is the leader of the pack. Uh, and I think there's stuff coming out with him. Uh, I know they got their cell thing, the cell phone, and I know they got a lot of technology related to the car coming out as well. So I'm going to hold, right? Because I did dump in the video. It went down 25% of me on me and it went back up. I broke even, made a couple K. Boom, I, should, I dumped it. I was happy I broke even. But I should have held it and then it shot to the moon. So you just don't know. I don't need the money. It's in a bucket. Far down the road, I'm just going to hold it. That's my, I, that's my mentality on this. I don't want to realize the loss because then I realize the loss. It's over, Johnny. I'm just going to hold it. If it goes to zero, then that's a dumb lesson learned. Set your stop losses 
uh, on your equities, man, if you're doing this crap. Yeah, I don't know. Eventually, once the market crashes and everything, you know, kind of settles, I'm just going to get most of my stuff back. I'm, I'm, I wasn't in this, but into SCHD, which is a dividend equity ETF. I had a lot of individual uh, companies. I was buying them separately. I did really well. All-time highs. I got out last month, went all cash, man. I see uh, Bezos, Jamie Dimon, uh, that creepy guy, Bill Gates, with his foundation dumping all their stocks. I figure these these people know what's going on. I got out too. And uh, the only money I am gambling is the crypto money and some of the stuff related to this, like a small percentage in my Roth I'm playing with because uh, that's long-term down the road, at least uh, 10 years. That'll maybe maybe longer. No, nah, probably longer, 10, probably 15 years since I'd even maybe would touch that money, if at all. So I'm I'm kind of gambling with it for fun. And that's where I'm at. So we got these energy ones. Set your again. Point of this, don't listen to YouTube people. I ran it on there for a while. Oh my God, 11 minutes. Don't buy courses. Don't buy memberships. Learn yourself. That is the gist of it. And you can do it. And you can learn from mistakes. Start small. Learn from mistakes. When you lose money, it's a great lesson. It, you learn from that. Uh, some of the things we're watching now with the having coming up uh, is Wolf, W-U-L-F. That is a Bitcoin miner. Uh, this thing really tanked. But uh, this is one of the ones they have flagged as a buy. Bitcoin miners, Terra Walt is the name. Uh, they snag a buy rating from Rosenblatt. The Rosenblatt's. The Rosenblatt's. Um, yeah, they got the buy rating from the Rosenblatt's. And uh, that's a good thing. So I'm going to wait to the having. I'm watching this little turd. And I want to wait to two days now. Two days. So uh, that makes sense. This is makes it just hit me. That could be Friday evening when all the markets are closed except the Bitcoin one. The having is going to kick in. It's going to be over the week. Yeah, fr makes sense. They always do crap on Friday evening. You know, after everything's closed, everyone's not even watching. Everyone's out getting drunk. You know, or not even thinking about anything. And then this kicks in, and that's when. Who knows what's going to happen? So I think that's what's happening. They're going to do Friday evening. Prepare accordingly. Uh, you know, phone, the, phone the kids, wake the dog, call the neighbors, get the popcorn ready. It's going to get exciting. Yeah. And then uh, once that kicks in, the, you, won't, you won't know the effect on this puppy until the following Monday. And hopefully it, uh, it, may, it may flounder for a bit, but it may go to the moon. Two, at two bucks or buck 90, you can buy quite a bit of shares of this puppy. And if it goes up to what, my God, if it goes up to 10 bucks, ooh, that's a nice sweet bunk of change there, daddy. Yeah. And then you probably in a Roth or IRA, you dump it, no worry about short-term cap gains. Uh, IRA is different because you have RMDs. If you are lucky or unlucky enough to make it to 72, living on this miserable planet, then you've got to take your RMDs and pay Uncle Sam some more money. And then you know what they do with the money, I already told you. And you cry on your pillow going, what is going on with this government? What is going on? The government for the people is not for the people. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, guys. It's not good. I don't care what ideology you have. It's not good. I don't care. You can spend it any way you want. When you see what the government's doing, you guys, you'd fire these people if they worked for you. It's like, what are you doing? You're almost criminal. Ah, anyway, enough of that crap. I'm just looking at it from like 30,000 foot going, what is happening? You can't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's insane. Um, anyway, Wolf is a good one. EPD is an, or energy ones. Exxon is good. Oil always is going to go up now uh, for the near future, <laughs> except today. <laughs> Went down six cents. But look at this puppy. Oh, we were at 120. Yeah, this thing was at 122 at one time. Now we're down at 118. Not too much. Let's hope that comes back. And you get a nice little dividend, 3.2% for holding it. Yay! I, a lot of these energy guys have dividends. This one has a seven or eight, yeah, EPD. ET has, an, I think, a seven, eight point two, Yeah, 1% 1, 1 higher. Uh, there's a shipping one. I like watching shipping stuff. Holy crap, that tank. Not tanked, it went down too, but look at the, look, the yield's been dropping. Uh, four months ago, this was a 25% dividend yield. Look, it dropped 16 to 16. This goes up, this goes down because of the crap going on in, these, in the land over there where people just hate each other for no reason. For just making up, just the hate. That's what that makes them, that gives their purpose in life. It's so stupid. But again, it affects everything else, right? Blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, what else? Uranium's good. Oh, that jumped. No, that's gasoline. I don't know what's up with it. I don't know. I'm, I, that's just put that on there. 
Someone said, watch this FNGD. I need to read about that one yet. I need to spend an hour and research and read and read and read. Not just one source. You got to watch it. Some of these sources are horrible. Seeking Alpha, CNBC, you, stay, just, you can read them, but use knowing that they're biased. And you just got to watch when you read the research information or the articles. A lot of these things are biased, trying to get you to behave a certain way and uh, so they can make money off your, uh, your action based on how they influence you. You just got to be careful with these articles. Uh, that's the little thing that Kramer clown. He's a clown. He's told what to say, and he's trying to influence people. So then the analysts can then leave you holding the bag while they they cash out. Yeah, you gotta watch that, man. It's a brutal planet. It's a brutal world. All right, that's all I got. Let's see, nothing else going on. Bitcoins at sixty-two. Big daddies. Woo! Is that up or down? That's oh, up. All right, good. Let's hope this goes up. We got Thursday and Friday. They're having. I hope everything has consolidated by now and got the weak hands out. I'm a little miffed that it was affected by that whole Iran crap. That kind of concerns me. This thing's supposed to be decoupled, decentralized. You know, why is it affected by that crap? It makes no sense. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's all the money into the ETFs like this FBTC. Maybe they have taken the reins of Bitcoin. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. That's Why else would BlackRock buy all that Bitcoin up? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, but that's why you keep reading. Hopefully you get a, you get a good vibe what's going on. You let the big daddies make the moves and hope you get the double. Let them get the grand slams. You get the double, put some money in your pocket, and rinse and repeat. And one day you are hopefully financially independent unless you're taxed to death in some certain state. If you're not in a withholding, a, a no state tax state, you're a fool. Go to a no withholding state. My God, you give yourself a 15% raise in your paycheck right there. I went from Maryland to down in this Florida state. Oh my God, I was being robbed in Maryland. They're worse in California. No one talks about it. Maryland has worse taxation than California, believe it or not. And uh, it's a horrible state to live in. Too many people. The roads are good, which is funny, but the people are not friendly. They're transients. Uh, just no one waves. No one says hi. No one says, how are you doing? Uh, very rude environments to work in, toxic, boss girls everywhere, uh, just not a good, I just hated Maryland with a passion, traffic everywhere, people trying to run you off the road every day, it's just leave me alone, I'm just trying to get to work, uh, down here is beautiful, uh, gave myself a raise coming down here, 15%, boom, I said thank you, thank you man, love it, uh, weather's perfect, and uh, it's just so much better. So much better than the Northeast or the Mid-Atlantic. Oh, dear God. Yeah. I like California when I lived out there. But again, everyone and their grandma lived in that area, like Silicon Valley. What a mess. Too many people. Took forever to go, like a mile to get back to your house or apartment. Just red lights everywhere. But it was cute. And it was cute and all. Uh, there's a San Francisco Bay, which you can't even use. I don't know what the hell the purpose. I thought it would be a recreational bay. No, it's like salt mining flats or whatever and there's garbage dumps around it it's just total bleh it's what you think of san francisco now like a whole the bay's even full of poop and then the city's full of poop <laughs> anyway i don't know how, why i'm on that anyway what are we gonna do we're waiting for the having big daddies and we had an article we can look at real quick we uh, where is it? Institutions and smart money. What the hell does that mean? To influence price action during upcoming BTC halving, says Glassnode. Here's why. Uh, my God, from a new, a new analysis from market intelligence firm Glassnode indicates that financial institutions and smart money. All right, let's skim it. They're, they're baiting me. They got my click. They got me clicking. Oh my God! Let's see. Uh, top crypto assets by market cap surged thousand percent during the first having two hundred percent during the second. Okay, whatever. Oh, okay. In a new article, the top crypto asset by market cap surged one thousand during its first having two hundred percent during its second and six hundred percent during its third. The next having is expected roughly on April nineteenth. And we'll see BTC miners' rewards cut in half, right? This is what we talked about. The miners, the miners that are not optimal and performant are going to fade. They're going to not be able to survive in the, in the climate. They can't afford it. They're going to be broke. They're not going to make any rewards. They're just going crazy. Uh, they're going to have to sell or go out of business to sell their hardware or be acquired by the other ones that are optimal and performant. Oh, let's see. These significant upswing highlights the event's potential for drastically affect supply-demand dynamics. 
It's all about supply and demand, big daddies. Uh, let's see. Issued supply being cut in half. I'm trying to see what I think. Historically, halvings have led to major market rallies by cutting the supply of new Bitcoins, thus potentially increasing prices due to demand. It is a supply and demand, but everyone's predicting at this time, it may go the opposite way, man. Watch this thing tank. However, this time, the dynamics are further complicated, yes, by heavy institutional involvement through the damn ETFs and notable shifts in the activities of long-term investors with smart money and, and smart money entities. Yeah, the ETFs and billions and billions of bucks have been rolled into this, these things. Who knows what's going to happen? Oh, so they're affecting a more nuanced response. Uh, ETF activities. Uh, decreasing ETF purchases could signal an pending market downturn yeah having psychology be wary be wary worry be wary of potential sell the news effects surrounding the having event traders should consider strategic adjustments to their positions to navigate expected volatility when it's volatile guys you can make money you got to set your stop losses your your sell limits it's going to go up in this market up a thousand down a thousand up five thousand down you gotta you gotta you can start kind of doing that, but you can always lose a lot of money too. You got to be careful, but you can make money in a volatile market. Uh, let's see, it's turning for sixty thousand. Don't miss a oh, all right. So there you go. Market dynamics: increased selling by long-term holders might indicate a nearing market peak, impacting overall market stability and prices. If this thing shoots up to what they think one hundred forty thousand. You, I don't know. I would take the money because you know it's going to pull back. That's what Bitcoin does. It's going to go parabolic and then come back down. And uh, yeah, based on I've been in this, in this crap since 2016. You got to freaking get it. Take the profits, man. Take the freaking profits. Otherwise, it would be a couple of years and you're sitting there holding the bag. And uh, yeah, it's not a good feeling. So it's good to take profits. And you just got to know what those are. You got to just watch. It, it, it could go parabolic and come right back down the next day. It's happened before. It'll happen again. All right. We are done with this, man. I Sorry I kept you guys on this so long. I don't know how long this video has been. Too long. 22 minutes. Anyway, I wanted to show you some stuff. And just kind of like a little coffee break chit chat with some of my peeps. As I said peeps. All right. Just people like keeping it real. Just keeping it real. Real talk. Here's what I'm doing. It may be wrong, but at least you guys can see what other people are up to. And my advice from um, down in the orchestra pit is do not listen to anyone on YouTube. Take this for entertainment, guys. It's only entertainment. I am not monetized on YouTube. They make money off me putting ads on my dumb videos, which I don't know, are just dumb. But I see a guy driving around a trailer in a Toyota Tundra saying crushing it. And he's got 60,000 subs, so go figure, man. And he's making a livable wage off YouTube. What is that about? So it's you just don't know what people want to watch. But the vice is do not listen to anybody on YouTube. Do not pay for a membership on any product people are pushing on YouTube. A financial uh, indicator, uh, a course is the worst thing. This is You'll find you get this course. Say you pay 300 bucks for this course. It's going to be poorly typed, bad edit, bad grammar. They threw this together and they threw a couple of videos on it and then they got your money. It's just, a, it's almost a quick, not a grift, but it's just, you don't need it. Don't do it. Do not do super chats for people. Do not do, uh, what else do they do? It's just don't give money on the internet. Just, it's your money. I would take, if you're going to give someone a membership, just take that money and buy Bitcoin. I think you're better off. Um, yeah, don't do subscriptions, memberships on people's financial plans or, or buy the course thing's the biggest one for me. One guy wanted a thousand, charging a thousand bucks for course on how to better yourself. Well, I know how to better myself. I'm just lazy. So I'm going to pay you a thousand bucks to tell me I'm lazy because I don't want to get off my butt and go hit the gym more often and read more books. I don't need that. I, I know what to do. I'm not going to give you a thousand bucks. And I'm kind of more jealous that you thought of that and not me. It's like, oh. I should be pushing a course on something that you guys can figure out yourself anyway, you know. But uh, anyway, let's go forth. Let's try to all do this right and watch the market. And maybe you can make some few bucks. And remember, you could always lose it all, too. Don't be stupid. Uh, yeah.
I don't know. I always believe multiple logs burn brighter. If everyone can work together, it is not a zero sum game out there. If I give uh, the stuff I'm watching, it doesn't affect me at all. It could help you. There's always enough money in the market. Everyone can make money. It's not a zero sum game. And on that note, I'm out. 25 minutes of Coffee Break Crypto. Yeah. All right. Hope you liked it. I'm out. Take care.